Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we have a very fun and exciting video. I wanna share my best of 2022, my favorite skincare and hair care products that I really have been loving this year. I picked them mostly because of my personal skin journey in 2022, which I'll get in a little bit. And I also wanted to select items in different categories of different price points for individuals that may be looking for, say, more affordable options versus splurge worthy options. And lastly, products that are just cool in the sense, um, well formulated, and that's worth mentioning and worth trying. Now, as I alluded to, you know, my skin journey in 2022, I was <laughs> pregnant for majority of the year. I recently had my son in October. And so with pregnancy, you guys know your skin and body goes through a lot of changes. And in part, it kind of excluded me from using certain products, for example, retinoids. And so this selection of products was really in some ways based on, on my own just experience of what I was able to use. But because of some of the products that I had to avoid, it also gave me opportunities to try out ones that I may otherwise not have an opportunity to try. So I've divided this into cleansers, serums, treatments, moisturizers, and sunscreen. And I do have one hair product in here for you guys. So to start off, let's jump into cleansers. So I'm a pretty simple gal in the sense I view cleansers as is just that. I don't really do a lot of reviews or say splurge a lot of money on cleansers because I feel for the most part, drugstore cleansers are very effective and you certainly don't need to splurge on cleansers unless you know they really add value to your routine and is a way to help you decompress and relax. Having said that though, two cleansers I picked mostly because one is of the prior. It really makes me feel good and like I'm treating myself every time I use it. And it's from Enough Project. Enough Project Cleansing Oil. The reason why this made my 2022 top picks is number one, I love double cleansing in the evening to help me remove everything thoroughly. And I have always gravitated towards cleansing balms. I just find them to be less messy, less runny to use. This product was sent to me as a PR package last year, and I didn't really have a chance to open it until this year. But once I started using it, I became addicted. One pump is really enough to thoroughly clean everything, including my waterproof sunscreen, mascara, makeup, whatever I have on my face. But what I really love about this is just the scent. It's got this light floral scent, not over the top heavy, but gosh, for me, it is so addicting. I feel like I'm treating myself to a luxury product when this is really about $15. I forgot to mention, this is a K-Beauty brand. It belongs to the large skincare conglomerate, Amore Pacific. But this is a K-Beauty brand. You can find it off Amazon, find it off of Stavana. I absolutely love it. So the next product I want to mention is a medicated cleanser for acne. You guys know I love Benzoprox peroxide, especially benzoyl peroxide cleansers. And for a while, I felt like CeraVe acne foaming cleanser was really the only benzoyl peroxide cleanser that was gently formulated, but still very effective at treating acne. Since then, there have been a couple brands that have come out with well-formulated gentle benzoyl peroxide cleansers. One that I have found that is very hydrating, nourishing, yet with effective concentration of benzoyl peroxide to treat acne is from Cetaphil. This is a Cetaphil Gentle Clear Complexion Benzoyl Peroxide Cleanser. It retails for $12. It contains 2.6% micronized benzoyl peroxide, so formulated to deliver benzoyl peroxide more effectively. Also contains licorice and zinc. Licorice can be calming and soothing, and zinc can help a little bit with inflammation as well as sebum control. This is just a very creamy, gentle cleanser, and it's so gentle, I find it to be very much suitable for individuals who have rosacea and those who can't tolerate benzoyl or peroxide, ideal for those with more sensitive skin. All right, now let's get into the fun parts, the serums and the treatments. Now, I wanna start off with an antioxidant serum. The first antioxidant serum, Glytone C Plus Advanced Antioxidant Serum. This is pricey, it retails for $92, but I think it's worth every penny. This is a really nourishing cream serum and it contains the liposoluble DHT ascorbate along with vitamin E and squalane. This is fragrance free. I love this for mature skin, for those with more dry skin, as well as sensitive skin. So one I think would make a really nice gift, like 
for your friend or for mom who's looking for an antioxidant, anti-aging product. Now on the more affordable spectrum is a drugstore vitamin C and that is Vichy's Lift Active Vitamin C Serum. This is probably one of the few exceptions amongst today's products that I have used before 2022, but I just feel like it's such a nice product, relatively affordable for the formulation and how well studied in clinical context to really show benefits of improving skin aging fine lines, defending against pollution, environmental aggressors. $34 for 30 mil that lasts probably about three months-ish and it contains 15% allosporbic acid that's stabilized by vitamin E as well as plant-based antioxidants. And it also contains hyaluronic acid which makes the serum nice and slightly hydrating but it's not tacky or sticky. I know you guys, somebody may ask about the alcohol, denatured alcohol in the product and you know it's very much necessary for you know ingredient stabilization but I personally do not feel like with that ingredient that this serum is at all drying. In fact, I find it to be probably mostly neutral and slightly hydrating in the sense because of the hyaluronic acid. The next product I want to mention is another one, another serum from Vichy and it's also within their Lift Active line and it's Vichy's Lift Active B3 serum. This is a great treatment serum. It contains 5% niacinamide, a low percentage of vitamin C derivative along with 2% glycolic acid and 1% tranexamic acid along with prebiotic and hyaluronic acid. So it's a hydrating treatment serum. What it's intended to do is to help improve signs of aging, wrinkles, fine lines, uneven skin texture as well as uneven skin tone. Mostly targeting again individuals who are concerned and bothered by photo aging and premature aging. I was actually able to use this on a nightly basis without feeling irritated and, and you guys know how I feel about using a chemical exfoliant on a regular basis. It's not something that I recommend doing especially if you're using a retinol. Now when I was using this I definitely wasn't layering a topical retinoid with it but sometimes with how sensitive my skin is even by using a chemical exfoliant on a regular basis on its own my skin kind of will react and I did not with this. If anything this is a hydrating serum great for those who are bothered by uneven skin texture, skin tone, and fine lines who want like a liquid serum to use twice a day or especially in the evening to combat signs of aging. All right moving on to another serum. Because of pregnancy I actually had to change out a lot of my retinoid products for other products namely peptide products as well as alpha hydroxy acid based products and two lactic acid serums that I want to mention that I have really enjoyed this year. First one is from Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. This retails for $49. It's a nice milky liquid serum, not super runny, kind of middle of the way texture, not say creamy either, but it's fragrance free, essential oil free. It contains 10% lactic acid and a buttload of plant derived antioxidants that help to boost skin radiance and hydration. I really kind of use this as one of my nighttime treatment products during pregnancy and found it to be very elegant and very well tolerated by my skin and so I really enjoyed this product. Another lactic acid based product that I actually think would make a great gift honestly holiday gift but also helps with fine lines on human skin texture and skin tone is from Drunk Elephant. Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum. I actually really love this whole line especially their polypeptide moisturizer that comes in that green lid and this serum I tried it for the first time this year and really fell in love with it. This retails for $82 so slightly more expensive than the other one from Peach Lily. It contains again 10% lactic acid along with 11 different types of signal peptides. And there's a lot of emerging studies that show peptides are really helpful for repairing the skin barrier, the anti-inflammatory and also signal peptides help in a way to signal your skin to produce more collagen, improve signs of aging. And so this is another great one to consider if you are really wanting to hone in on the anti-aging aspect. And one more exfoliant to try that is from drugstores that is going to be the most affordable amongst these options is from CeraVe. Their skin renewing nightly exfoliating treatment that retails for $23. And I also feel like it's the most gentle of all these in the sense it contains 5% glycolic and lactic acid blend. So a lower concentration but also has a more milky creamier emulsion light lotion like texture. It contains ceramides as well as hyaluronic acid and licorice root that's soothing and can help to brighten the skin. Now because I was pregnant for the majority of the year I wasn't able to use a topical retinoid.
retinoid, but one retinoid-based product I want to give a shout out to, I have definitely enjoyed using it in the beginning of this year and I'm restarting, is from Medigate. It's the Retinal line. There aren't that many retinal or retinaldehyde products and retinaldehyde can be just as effective and if not slightly more effective in the sense, you know, for your retinoid to convert into the active form, it has to go from retinol to retinaldehyde and then retinoic acid. And so retinaldehyde is that in-between step before the active derivative. The reason why there aren't that many retinal products on the market is it can be hard to formulate. And the beauty from their retinal line is that range of different concentrations. And if you are new, you have the flexibility of picking a lower concentration and then working your way up. Now, even though it is slightly more potent, it's still going to be a lot more gentle than using prescription retinoic acid or tretinoin. So it's still great for those who just want to combat signs of aging, but really don't want that irritation, that skin purging you may get with topical tretinoin. With the Medigate line, it retails for about $53 and you get, like as I mentioned, different concentrations that you can select from. It's a creamy formulation. It's very nourishing. It contains hyaluronic acid, glycerin, as well as vitamin E to also work synergistically with the retinaldehyde in helping to improve signs of aging, as well as those ingredients can kind of help to combat some of the irritation from the retinal. All right, I do have one eye cream I want to mention. And this one I really liked because of its formulation, but also the texture and how nicely it sat on my skin or sits on my skin. And it's from It Cosmetics and it's the It Confidence in an Eye Cream that retails for $40. This contains mostly 2% peptide concentrate of various different sources from soy, rice. There's also a blend of tri and tetrapeptide that we know can help improve fine lines, wrinkles, and stimulate collagen production. But what I love about it is the texture and it's got this doughy, pillowy, kind of whipped cream texture that when you apply is very kind of like whipped texture, but very nourishing, but yet not heavy or sticky and absorbs very nicely. And best of all for me, it does a great job at hydrating my under eye skin, but not super thick where it clumps up with my under eye concealer because that's kind of the really base makeup I wear regularly on a day to day. So it doesn't create caking of my concealer when I apply powder over it. So that is why I wanted to give this product a shout out and why it made it on my list. All right, now moving on to moisturizers. And I have three amongst all the different ones I've tried this year and I have tried plenty. Number one, the first one is from La Roche Posay. Their new Tuller and Double Repair Matte Moisturizer. I fell in love with this. This was probably the moisturizer I used most consistently in the morning from spring to summer. This retails for about $20. And I still continue to use quite a bit of it kind of into the fall. I love the texture, the finish, and how nicely for me it sat on my skin and made a great canvas for my sunscreen. This is a great moisturizer that is soothing, hydrating, but with a matte finish. So really ideal for those with more oily combination skin. But for me with more sensitive and dry, I love changing up my moisturizer, especially for the summer. I find this gel cream formulation to be very elegant and sat nicely on my skin for the summer season. The next moisturizer is more of a creamier, richer formulation for those with more dry and sensitive skin. And that is from e.l.f., their pure skin. This retails for 12 bucks and for $12, gosh, it is worth it. It's a nice creamy moisturizer, very soothing, very nourishing. It contains oat milk, ceramides, and niacinamide. It's fragrance free and so really great for those with more sensitive and dry skin. You can use it in the morning and night and I have definitely used this in the morning before my sunscreen and even though it's very rich and nourishing, it's not very sticky or greasy. So it still is great to use under sunscreen and it's not comedogenic, fragrance free, cruelty free and vegan. So for those who really value vegan and cruelty free skincare products, this is one I highly recommend. And like I said, it's really affordable and for its price, I really absolutely love it. All right, for all my anti-aging friends who are wanting to invest in a relatively affordable night cream that has anti-aging benefits, I highly recommend checking out the new Neutrogena Rapid Firming Peptide Contour Lift Face Cream that retails for $40. I actually don't have one to show you guys. I accidentally threw mine out when I finished, but this is a great nighttime treatment cream that helps with improving fine lines and wrinkles. And what it contains is this 0.5% percent 
micropeptide called acetyl dipeptide 31. And this acetyl dipeptide has been shown in clinical studies to be anti-inflammatory, helps it with repairing the skin barrier, as well as helping to stimulate collagen production. And so certainly in their clinical studies and with me personally using as anti-aging benefits, it's intended to help with firming your skin, improving elasticity, improving fine lines and wrinkles. And it also contains glycolic acid in the formulation. And certainly glycolic acid has been shown to help improve the penetration of this acetyldepeptide. But the glycolic acid is really not irritating. It's not a super high concentration. In addition to glycolic acid, also contains gluconolactone and polyhydroxy acid. That's also an antioxidant as well as shea butter. So I find that this cream is really great for those who are seeking a good nighttime cream moisturizer to help with repairing signs of aging. Now, it also does contain shea butter, which makes it nourishing, but it's still a light watery cream that is not greasy, nor is it over the top heavy or thick. And so for individuals with super dry skin, you may actually find this cream to be not nourishing enough, but for the majority, it's hydrating and it's creamy. All right, now moving on to sunscreens. I have also tried a buttload of sunscreens from chemical to mineral, and it was really hard, honestly, picking for this category. So to start off with, I wanna talk about two European-based sunscreens that are not readily available in the US, but they're definitely available online. And these were sunscreens that I hit up when I was in France and from French pharmacies. The first one is from from Aven, they're very high protection SPF and it retails for $25. They have a various different formulations, one for oily to combination, acne prone skin, and one for dry and sensitive skin. I love this one because number one, it has really unique filters that you can't easily find in other sunscreens. And it's this triazorb sunscreen that's trademarked by Pierre Fabre, which is a French pharmacy company that owns Glytone as well as Event. But this Triazorb filter has been shown to basically hit all the important UV markers out there that we know damages the skin, including high energy visible light. So it blocks UVA, UVB, as well as visible light, and it's non-tinted. And this is the only filter that I'm aware of that's able to block all three and not be tinted in nature. It's water resistant, non-sticky, and it's got a nice finish without being sticky, greasy, and absorbs very quickly. The next one is from La Roche-Posay and Helios UV Immune 400. This is a new filter that has been developed by L'Oreal that comes with, you know, within the name 400 because it blocks up to 400 nanometers and wavelength of UVA light. So this filter offers protection against that UVA spectrum that we know contributes to pigmentation and skin aging. This one in particular is tinted. So you also are getting visible light protection as well. I also love it because it's lightweight, it's water resistant, fast absorbing with a matte finish. The only one thing I don't like as much is the fragrance. I like the scent, but I feel like it's too potent. But otherwise, texture wise is very similar to the other and Helios ultra light SPF sunscreens on the market that's available in the US. Another sunscreen I absolutely love this year was from Epion's Daily Shield Tinted SPF 50 that retails for $42. This is such a nice, elegant tinted sunscreen and I absolutely love how it sat on my skin. It's a nice tint that fits my skin tone very nicely. And that's not true for all tinted sunscreens. Some of them are too light and then some of them are too kind of dark orange color on my skin tone. And it has this nice, smooth, silky matte finish that looked amazing wearing it alone, but also made a great canvas under makeup. I love the fact that it's also water resistant and it's purely mineral based and it contains a blend of antioxidants that work really well with the mineral filters to form uh, an extra defense against environmental damage. The coverage on the sunscreen, I actually found to be like a light to medium coverage. And for me, I found that to be just enough for me to wear on a daily basis. All right, the last sunscreen is a Korean sunscreen. And I certainly have tried a bunch of Japanese and Korean sunscreen this year, but for some reason, I just keep going back to this one. I just love it for its texture and for how lightweight it is. And for those of you who have also used it yourself, I bet you would agree with me. And it's from Beauty of Dosan, their rice probiotic sunscreen that retails for about $14 to $16. And gosh, for that value, it is so worth it. It's lightweight, it's fast absorbing, it's got this light 
creamy texture but it feels like you're not wearing anything at all and honestly it's great even if you have oily combination skin but it's still nourishing if you have dry skin and it's great to wear alone great under makeup it's vegan cruelty free has a lot of great filters on here that help to block you know uva and uvb as well as rice extracts that can be nourishing and soothing so i really don't have anything bad to say i mean it's great if you have sensitive skin certainly if you have not tried the sunscreen highly highly i recommend that you give this product a try at some point okay last but not least a hair care product for you guys and this is one i have used pretty exclusively this year for repairing dry and damaged hair and that is the k18 biomimetic hair science for a 15 mil it is about 29 dollars on sephora so certainly not cheap i love this product for a few reasons number one the science behind this is super cool there's actually a published article on the science of this product and the formulation of this product so this product essentially contains k18 peptide what it is essentially it helps to repair damaged hair this particular peptide had the most affinity for hair keratin meaning it's able to get into your hair shaft and basically like glue fill in the gaps in your hair shaft that's damaged and help to strengthen and repair and that is essentially what this product is meant to do aside from the cool science i just love how easy it is to use this product and you apply it essentially as like a leave-in conditioner so really for me it makes my hair routine much more simple meaning i just shampoo you don't use any conditioner come out of the shower and apply about a pump to two pumps depending on how long and how thick your hair is and you apply from width to end and that's it and the other thing is that in addition to repairing your hair the formulation is very nourishing and conditioning uh, when i instantly apply this product my hair is detangled it feels soft and smooth so even though it's repairing it's meant as a treatment the formulation itself is very much like at, like a leave-in conditioner so really you're getting two in one with this now how does this compare to olaplex olaplex temporarily helps to repair the dye sulfide bonds that links your hair keratin protein together this what it does is it actually physically goes into your actual hair keratin protein and fills in the gaps permanently so it works differently but certainly this and olaplex can be used together not obviously in the same day but if you alternate the use i think it can be very helpful in repairing severely damaged hair all right guys i hope you enjoyed watching my best of 2022 and certainly there are a lot more products i probably could have talked about did any of yours make it on this list and or if there are other categories that i didn't really touch on for example like treatments for hyperpigmentation is one and you want me to make another video of my favorites for 2022 please let me know in the comments below otherwise i wish you guys a happy new year and welcoming 2023 also i would love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye